Okay, hi everyone. Today we've got a worst case scenario iPhone 7 which fails to power on. Uh, we took this down to the Apple store. They plugged it into their diagnostics. That didn't work. Tried AT&T and also that didn't work. They tried the usual stuff, keeping it plugged in for a charge and we did the same thing. Did the uh, hold down power, the volume down uh, for, the, for the hard reset and that didn't work. So what's going on is you probably have a connectivity issue probably with the hardware. So with the light, that could either be the lightning plug or you could have uh, something else. Could be uh, the battery uh, just died out altogether. Or the other possibility is potential electrostatic discharge into the phone, which may have caused some physical damage. So I don't have a spare iPhone 7 battery, so what I did was I went ahead and opened this up. We just got it. We went ahead and just got a new phone anyway and upgraded this. But what you'll see is that I uh, soldered in two new connectors here, so I determined what the positive value on the battery was. So that's on the bottom position, and and the negative or ground value is at the top position. The battery itself is rated at 3.8 volts, and it's got. Uh, it's rated about 72 watt hours, so that translates into roughly just 2,000 milliampers or two amps, uh, two amp hours. So one way to do this would be to go ahead and force the power into the iPhone. And so I've got a, I've got a Mark Ethan uh, bench supply here, but you'll notice on the gauge it has a max rating of one amp. So with two amps, that'll basically force the bench bench supply to shut down. So now what I'm going to use is the uh, Allen Co. DMV, I'm sorry, the DM330 uh, power supply. So on the front, on the front ports, we've got 5 amp max. You can see that on the bottom left. On the rear, it's over 32 amps continuous. So we're going to go ahead and hook it up to that. I've already tried the Mark Ethan and it already shut down uh, past 1 amp. The, uh, the amp meter started to uh, fluctuate. So on this, I actually had it dialed down to 3.8 .8 volts. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing up here. Okay, I've got the power supply connected. You'll see here on the front on the front ports, I've got it uh, hooked up to the front panel where it's got a 5 amp max output. So we'll go ahead and fire this up and see if this thing powers up. Okay, we've already got the uh, Apple screen on here, so it looks like it's powering up successfully. All right, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions.